ladies welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome now is a good time to go ahead and click that subscribe button and if you have not already make sure to turn on your post notifications that way you don't miss another video so of course today I'm jumping right into this content for you of course I'm gonna be showing you how to do a half up half down style using my Nadula hair so of course this is what the packaging looks like I'm pretty much at a point in my YouTube career where I'm only doing videos well concerning hair companies that I absolutely love so last week I did do another hair company that of course you guys are very familiar with and then this week I am showcasing another one of my top favorite hair companies um, and again their name is Nadula all the details will be posted in my description box below so definitely make sure to check it out y'all know I got into the packaging last time Nadula's packaging is not too too bad just because of the design of the actual box it's, it's you know we can work with it we can work they put some effort into it so <laughs> I appreciate that of course on the inside you get your wig which of course I'll show you guys throughout the video and then you do get um so it looks like an edge wrap is it one or two I'm not sure I'm gonna take it out then of course you get a wig cap and and it looks like an elastic yeah, you get an elastic band so that you can um, install this gluelessly if you want to. Today I am, I am going to be using the glue just simply because when you want to do a half up half down style, you want to make sure that that hair is snatched. Alright, so let's get right into this. So as you guys know, typically I will go ahead and pluck and tweeze, pretty much style the unit before actually putting it onto my head. So I am going to go ahead and start that process now. If you guys are not already familiar with my plucking process, this is a good time to just take advantage and really see what it is that I typically do. You guys know I usually wash and condition the units as soon as I get them using either my Ozzy Moist or my coconut, is it coconut oil? I think it's like ORX or something like that. But anyway, they're a coconut brand. I'll typically use that to shampoo condition. I usually either allow it to air dry or go ahead and put it under my hooded dryer. In this case, I did go ahead and use a hooded dryer. If you guys need a more detailed tutorial on how to plug, how to squeeze, how to bleach the knots, I will be sure to post that down below because y'all know I've done this a million, a trillion, and one times. Seriously, let's just be honest. <laughs> And so, of course, here is the unit completely dried. I did end up having to go through with the blow dryer. Not having to, but I had somewhere to go or I have somewhere to go. This is why I'm recording. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and speed up that time. I did blow dry it completely dry I went ahead and allowed the frontal to dry underneath the hooded um, dryer so that it can lay really really flat I did go ahead and take some of my mousse just to lay that down and now I'm pretty much just gonna start the application so as you guys can see I already have my hair in my wig cap um, ball method of course um, and so I'm using this just so that I can make sure to have a super transparent base just in case I want to part the unit if I wanted to do a side part or when putting it up into a ponytail it definitely helps with kind of giving a little bit of skin in the peek through first things first you want to make sure to go ahead and cut off the extra lace around the ears you don't necessarily have to do it um, around the hairline part right because that's actually gonna help you install the unit a little bit better now of course I did already cut off this extra lace that was here in the back it does have an adjustable band on the inside of course you could add the additional elastic band to this area if you wanted to really just kind of install it and go but like I told you I'm gonna be using the glue it does have combs on the inside and I'm literally just gonna go ahead and tighten this up just a little bit um, and then I'm just literally gonna go ahead and pop it on so slide your big head now that we have the unit on, you want to go ahead and just pull it down. Make sure that everything is measured nicely on both sides. Alright guys, so now that you have the unit on, you can go ahead and literally just start to apply your glue. Y'all know, for me, it's pretty simple. I've done this a million times for you guys. But I'm going to go ahead and just cut it into four different sections. And then I'm going to start here from the middle area and then go ahead and pull down here all right so I'm just gonna go ahead and flip these little flips flappers back <laughs> and apply the glue probably do a couple little dots here all 
to make sure to catch a little bit of that cap so everything lays flat. So of course you want to let the glue get just a little tacky of course. So once you see that it's mostly clear, go ahead and actually pull down your lace. I think I'm pretty much good. I'm going to see. Some people do two layers. For me, just because I apply so much at once, I don't always do two layers. It just kind of depends. In this case, I'm not going to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and just pull this down. And you want to make sure to put it a little bit in front of where you actually put the glue. Just a teensy tiny bit. Because the glue will spread on its own. And go ahead and just press that into the lace. You can do it with your finger. You can do it with the comb. All right, so same thing on the sides. Alrighty, guys, y'all, that was super easy to install. Literally, probably less than five minutes. <laughs> And like I said, I find it so much easier when you style your units. I said this in another video, but I find it so much easier when you style your units on the mannequin and then go ahead and put it on your head. Cause all that you're doing from here is literally just tacking the wig down, applying the lace, you know, that type of thing with the glue and pretty much that's it. Now I'm cutting off any extra lace that I have here. And you guys can kind of do this in the funky method if you want to. Alrighty, then typically I like to go in in any areas that I feel like just absolutely need a little bit more glue. But to be honest, I laid this one almost exactly <laughs> where it needs to go, so I don't really have to do much to it. I'm just cutting off the lace, super easy. All right, now on this side, how you can tell is typically when you roll your hand back, if you can see it lifting up in anywhere, somebody else will be able to too sis so i don't know what <laughs> what y'all be thinking but yeah we can see it too so definitely make sure to go back in with a little bit of glue and any of those spots that you know are like okay all right there we go. Now, on to baby hair. If you want to do the baby hair thing, you can. If you don't, don't. All right, so for this half up, half down, I'm actually going to take out a little bit of this hair here. And then I'm literally just going to part straight across. Whether there's lace there or not. Because sometimes with the lace caps, you'll get the lace straight from here to here, here to here. But in this case, it looks like the lace is going from about here to here, you get lace in this area, here to here, and then on the sides you get the lace, but it only goes back till about here. So keep that in mind. Every unit is different. A lot of times the company don't, they don't necessarily advertise that. So the reason that Najula is one of my favorite units is just because their lace is super duper transparent. Their wigs always fit like a dream. Every single time I've ever gotten a Najula unit, I felt like I didn't have to do much work to it. And when I say work, meaning I didn't have to like over tweeze, over pluck. It wasn't like just too much hair um, in one spot. Like I was able to literally put it on and damn near go. So that's one thing that I appreciate when you get a unit. And then another thing I also felt like their units don't tangle often. Um, I'm gonna see exactly what this unit in particular does. But um, yeah, just from my experience, I haven't had to deal with like much shedding, tangling, all that type of stuff. Now I will say when I got the hair, it did kind of have a smell. It kind of smelled like it had been previously washed with something else and it just wasn't that great <laughs> of a conditioner or shampoo. I'm not sure, but it didn't smell bad at all. I did end up trimming the ends just a little bit just because they were a little snags. They weren't bad. The hair is super duper soft, but I did have to kind of get the ends together. So now I'm going to get this ponytail together and that will take a little bit of concentration. So I need to be sure that I have my baby hair pretty much placed exactly where it is I want them to go. I'm debating on if I want to do 
So in order to like perfect the hairline, you do need to take out probably about one fourth of an inch of hair just for parting space. If you are going to go ahead and do the baby hair look, you want to make sure that you have hair up and out the way, get you some edge control. All right, and I find that using the edge control makes it a lot easier just to kind of sleek up the hair without too much trouble. And then it also helps show like your skilled work from all the tweezing that you did. So just make sure you really brush that out. And I'm just rubbing some on my hands, taking the extra and smoothing up the ponytail. And typically for the actual ponytail, I'll use like the rubber bands just to go ahead and put my hair into a high bun. So for me, it's really hard to tell if it's in the middle. <laughs> uh, okay, but it is. So typically I'll have to redo it like twice. I'm like, dang, why is it not in the middle? Okay. Alrighty, voila. So we got the ponytail nice, flat, and laid down. And I'm just gonna go ahead and cut into the baby hair. We have our baby hairs nice and wispy. I'm gonna take my same edge control, which I don't know if you guys care, but I'm using my um, 24 hour Ebon edge control. This is their super hold, ultra super hold. So this one is not super duper like, Basically, it's gonna definitely hold down your lace wig, but if this was like for your natural hair, uh, I think you might wanna amp it up a little bit. Now, as you do your baby hair, you'll start to see like, hmm, what is it that I really need to be tweezed out? What is it that I don't? So go ahead and use your edge control as like a way to lay it down so you can really see what it is that you're doing. And in my case, I can already see like, uh, baby, that, you know, these are just a little too thick. So I'm going to go ahead and tweeze this out a little bit. And then you want to go ahead and lay it down, lay it down. Now to me, I think these baby hair are just a little bit too long. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of cut it a little bit. Alright, I'm trying to figure out, do I like the way that this looks? I think so. Boom, voila, there we go. So I was debating on if I was going to do a couple wand curls or if I was going to keep it straight, but I think I'm keeping it straight yes i'm happy with this so of course this is pretty much it for the tutorial leave any comments or questions down below i love you guys so much stay pretty and i will see you in my next video bye babies